today's luxury webinar. Big thank you to everybody for joining us. So we've got Tanya live from London at the moment at the hotel. Um, Tanya, as you're going second, if you can just put yourself off mute and just tell us who you are, where you're from and what prize you're offering today. Hi everyone, my name's Tanya Rustle. So I work with um, Jamira Carlton Tower and Jamira Lounge here in London. So I look after two properties. And today the prize that we're going to be given is two um, afternoon teas at the Chinoiserie. Oh, amazing. And we'll yes. see more of that as the presentation continues. So Tanya, yes. we're looking forward to seeing you in a little while. Um, first of all, I'm going to hand over to Kerry to introduce herself and then take us straight off to the beautiful island of Grenada. So Kerry, let us know who you are and it's all yours. Sure, thank you. Um, I'm Kerry Bartholomew from Clear Marketing, today representing Spice Island Beach Resort um, in Grenada. So um, if you're happy for me to make a start then, Sarah. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, thanks. Hi, everyone. As Sarah said, there's the chat, there's the Q&A. If you do want to ask me anything, then please feel free to and I can answer those at the end of the presentation. So thanks so much for joining today. I recognise a lot of the names. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with Spice Island already. And if you're not, um, thanks for joining. And I hope that you can learn a lot today. Um, I just want to start by um, just mentioning, obviously, Hurricane Beryl, which has passed through the Caribbean. Um, I'm pleased to say that the resort has been spared. Um, Grenada, we were very fortunate that whilst there was um, some damage, you know, the resort is safe. Um, everybody, all of our staff and guests are accounted for and safe. Thanks to everyone for their kind words, but just to reassure you that everything's all good. It's just the cleanup operation, which will probably take a couple of days. So Spice Island Beach Resort is certainly the most renowned resort in Grenada, on the Caribbean island of Grenada. It's a small island and um, it, it's very well known. There are a lot of um, cruise ships that come into Grenada. There are lots of hotels from all different price points. But really Spice Island Beach Resort is your is one of the luxury options for your more discerning guests. It's a five star premium all inclusive resort um, in, in a fantastic location. So the resort itself, we are only 10 minutes away from the airport. So a nice short transfer time when you get off of that flight. And we are the only AAA five diamond all inclusive resort in the Caribbean. And here are just some of our awards so that you can see it. We do work with um, virtuoso we work with all of the main luxury operators both in the uk and um globally as well so the resort as i said only 10 minutes from the airport but we are fortunate enough to be located directly on the famous grand ants beach which is what you can see here it's a beautiful stretch of beach which which goes on for miles now what i love about this is whilst you are in an all-inclusive hotel you don't feel confined in your resort you can walk out along the beach you can walk along, go past other hotels. You can have a little nosy at what else is around. There's a couple of little beach bars down on there as well. And just behind the resort, there's the main highway and you can walk to what um, the shopping complex. So all of your conveniences are there. There's pharmacy, there's banks, there's coffee shops. So, you know, again, it's quite refreshing to have an all-inclusive resort where there's lots for you to be able to walk around. I generally stay at this resort on my own. I feel very safe to walk around and... Um, Last time I was there, I was walking around at, you know, half past five at night and it was starting to get dark and I, I felt perfectly safe. So this is a great location. Some of the selling points of the resort itself, I think one of them really is that it's family owned and operated. So the resort was founded by Sir Royston Hopkin um, in the mid 1980s. And um, sadly, he passed away um, during COVID. But the, the, the great news is that his daughter, Janelle Hopkin, has maintained the resort. So she now is the managing director. It stayed within the family ownership and operation. We have our general manager, Brian Hardy, who's been with the hotel for 24 years. So he's a staple there. So we're family owned and operated, great location. Um, it really kind of caters to everybody, whether that's couples, solos, groups of friends, multi-generational families, or families that are, you know, low key, that want a, a luxury boutique resort. Um, when you arrive at the hotel, you go through the gates, you arrive in our kind of courtyard, beautifully manicured gardens. You know that you're somewhere special because it just looks beautiful from the minute that you arrive. And um, all of our guests will be met either by um, 
Brian, Janelle, or one of the senior management team. So I think your guests know straight away that it's personal here. The I always say whenever I do these presentations, I've been fortunate enough to stay in some amazing hotels, but this hotel is where I've experienced the, the best service and hospitality anywhere. It's very attentive, it's very personalised. You will always get a chance to meet the general manager who will understand what it is that your clients are looking for. So once you walk through the, the courtyard that you can see here, you can see the ocean from the minute that you arrive. It's a very flat resort. So if you have got guests with limited mobility, this is a good one to recommend for them. And um, there's only one room type, which is upstairs, so you can easily avoid that room type. Now, the resort underwent a soft renovation last year on all of the public areas and um, for last year. So this is our new look. You arrive into the hotel, again, you can see the ocean. And what we've done here and what Janelle's done is brought a new style. So it's really just elevated the level of luxury. The, the renovation has been quite discreet, so it hasn't really upset any of the loyal repeaters. But it's been really tastefully done. It's elevated, modernised, light, bright, fresh and clean. So you go into the lobby, which you just saw there, where you would do your check-in. We we do have a courtyard, which is just outside of the lobby. And you can see now, just above here, we've got this beautiful vine-entwined pergola. There are fans out here. So this is where you have afternoon tea. So we include daily afternoon tea every day. This is where we have our evening entertainment of an evening. Or you can really just sit here and enjoy the space. All new um, lounge furniture around here. We've also extended it further down onto the beach as well as extending the pool deck as well so you can really see here very tastefully elegantly done just again raising that level of luxury for your clients we also extended the pool deck and bought new sun lounges and cabanas here as well so it's just a really great fresh new look and you can see here from this aerial shot we are directly on the beach so of the 64 rooms that we have at the hotel half of them are directly on the beach so if you have got guests that want to be able to step out onto the sand, they want to be able to hear the ocean, then again, this is a great resort to recommend. And you can see really where we are, that long stretch of beach. You walk out towards the left or the right. There's, there's lots to do in the area. Now, I like to show you this image as well, because you saw that we have some accommodations directly on the beach, which you can see here just to the right. We then have this pathway that goes along the back. Uh, the back of those suites and then on the other side we have these now these are some of our pool suites these are great for your guests that want a bit more privacy and seclusion but whilst they don't have the ocean view you can see they are steps away i haven't counted but i, I would say probably a hundred or so steps to the beach so you're still very close to the beach even if you're not on that beachfront location now, the accommodations themselves, we are boutique, 64 rooms, luxuriously appointed as is a five-star hotel. All of the amenities your guests would expect, from your complimentary Wi-Fi to your Nespresso machine, your in-room Alexas. Um, we can also deliver breakfast to your guest room as well, daily. If they don't want to go to the restaurant, we can do that as part of the all-inclusive. There's no trade charge to do that. When I stayed at the resort the first time, I was curious as to why there was a toaster in the room. And I asked the question and Janelle, Janelle said to me that whenever she's had room service breakfast delivered, the toast is always cold. So what they do when you have your breakfast, they give you slices of bread so that you can do your own toast in your room. Just a little insider tip there for you. So these are our sea grape sweets. They're definitely the most popular. These are the ones that are directly on the beach. Half of the room stock is within this category. As you can see, they're beautiful, they're spacious, elegantly appointed just steps away from the beach you have your own sun lounges outside of your room your own lounge um, furniture there for those that want a bit more space we also have two suites within this category which have kitchen facilities and a living room but no one caters for themselves this is all inclusive but we do include mini bars um, additional room types um, now these are some of the ones that you saw before these are our royal collection pool suites so these are also a premium um, product that we have here um, and the reason they're royal collection is we've had several members of the royal family stay in these suites I've also stayed in them as well um, so yeah we absolutely love these great for guests that want a bit more privacy and seclusion whether that's honeymooners whether that's couples who just want to enjoy their own space you have your pool your bedroom and a separate living area 
Um, also within um, the pool suites, we have 17 pool suites, so the, the Royal Collection, but also the Almonds ones. Now these, again, they're spacious, they're elegantly appointed, they have their own pools. The style's a little bit different to the sea grape suites, still really beautifully done. The second one up is the Anthurium. So, you know, this is just one category up from the lead in, a small little plunge pool there, nice spacious rooms. As you can see, dark wooded furniture, but really tastefully and elegantly appointed. And then our lead in rooms would be the Oleanders. So these have a garden view. These we offer interconnecting rooms. We can interconnect a king bed with a queen bed. So these are great for families. Um, if, if they want if they want to stay. Now these can be either on the ground or the first floor. So these are ones that I wouldn't recommend for guests with limited mobility. In terms of the food and drink, this is an all-inclusive resort, as I mentioned. You don't need to spend any more money when you're here. That's all of your meals, your breakfast, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea, cocktails, alcoholic drinks, soft drinks, specialty coffees. The only time you would spend any more money is if you were ordering wine by the bottle, you know, a bottle of champagne. We currently have, as they currently, this will be a new one. We currently have two restaurants on property. This is Oliver, which is our main restaurant, which says breakfast and dinner. For breakfast, I love it because whilst it is an a la carte restaurant, there is a section, like a buffet section, where you can help yourself. And um, within that section, it's all freshly made pastries that they bake on property every morning they have different flavors every day so the smells are amazing they have yogurt and all of those grenadian spices that the island's known for and lots of fruit so fresh fruit but what i love about this is there's very few imports at this hotel so the fruit that you'll get at breakfast is fruit that has been grown on the island of grenada you're not going to get strawberries and raspberries but what you will get is mangoes papayas melon coconuts and really just embracing that you are in the Caribbean. For dinner, five nights a week is a five course taster menu. So you might want to lose your weight before you come here because you're certainly going to pile it on when you're eating five courses every evening. The other two nights, one is a barbecue um, and one is a Caribbean buffet. Now our lunch is served in the Sea and Surf Terrace. So this is our second restaurant. It's, it's open for lunch, but they also set up some tables for dinner as well. Now we recently relaxed the dress code, Oliver, and we also recently um, relaxed the child policy. So anyone that sold the property before might have been aware that previously children under five could not dine in Oliver. They would have to come over to the Sea and Surf Terrace. Um, it would be the same menu, it's just a little bit set back so that the family feel a little bit more comfortable family like me i've got two children that don't always behave very well at dinner so um this is a nice option that does still exist however children can now go over to oliver if they wish the food is exceptional it's you know a culinary experience at this resort we will be opening a third restaurant later on this year so watch this space i'm going to show you a sneaky peek in a minute now, in terms of what else we have at the property, we have a lovely little spa, which is called the Janissa Spa. I always like to explain the name Janissa because it's obviously it's an unusual name. So Royston has two daughters, Janelle and Narissa, put the two together, Janissa. So we have the Janissa Spa with individual and couple treatment rooms. There's also a nail salon. There's a lovely little gym here. Non-motorised water sports, yoga, we have tennis courts, we have bikes that your guests can hire, complimentary. We also offer complimentary golf at the nearby golf course as well. We also have a year-round complimentary kids club. So this is the Nutmeg Pod, very much tailored around families that are on property at the time. So if it's a high occupancy time, maybe Easter or the summer holidays, there'll be a lot going on here. In lower season, it can be much more personalised. So if you have a family travelling and the parents want to have dinner, let's say, without the children, then they can open the kids club up until nine o'clock at night. Um, we do babysitting. This is a great resort for guests that want something low key. You're not going to get a big all singing and dancing um, children facilities, but very low key for those families that want that. A great resort for special occasions, for destination weddings, honeymoons, special events. It's small enough to do a buyout if you wish. And this is the third restaurant which will be opening this year. So this is to come towards the end of the year. This is going to be our new beach spot. It will be a casual grill which will serve um, pizzas, barbecued food, salads. And that's going to be opening later on this year. So watch this space. And I can't finish without talking about the people. Obviously, the resort being family owned and operated is a great selling point. The fact that Brian has been there 24 years and many of the staff are 
incredibly loyal firm to their long time. You see it, the, the staff enjoy themselves, they're happy, the guests are happy, and you know that's a great reflection. And the, the Hopkin family are very um, visible within the community. They're a very giving family. The Sir Royston Hopkin um, Foundation was set up uh, in Sir Royston's memory, and the family personally financed scholarships and educational programmes for several um, families within Grenada and um, they look after underprivileged families at Easter, at Christmas, and things like that. So they really are very giving. So, you know, in a nutshell, that is Spice Island Beach Resort for you. I hope you like our new look and feel and I hope that you've picked up some um, selling points to help yourself in the future. So thank you for your attention. Super. Thank you very much, Kerry. We've got a few questions. We'll do them at the end. We've got plenty of time today, so we'll we'll go through those in a little while. Um, so now I am going to swip across from Grenada over to London. Um, Tanya, are you all set up? Yes, I am. Super. Moment. Okay. Hi everyone, um, so welcome to the Jamira Carlton Tower. Um, we're based in London, uh, so we are based in Knightsbridge. So we're close to, if you're aware, a Harrods shopping mall, and we're just by Sloan Street. Um, we are a hotel with um, 186 rooms and suites. Uh, we were the first tower and the tallest tower in London. So as you can see yes, here, this sorry. is... Sorry to Sorry. interrupt you. Can you put yes. it onto presenter mode because we can still see all the next slides that are coming and it's oh, not on the okay. screen. I'm so sorry. Let me have a look. Just, you, you, you just do it from that screen. From that screen you was in. Yes. Okay. Just, just bear that with me slideshow. Um. I'm not sure if you can see the presentation now. Yeah. Um. And then just. Just press the the that button at the bottom next to the uh, the minimum and maximum. Just um, scrolling across the bottom, you've got notes and then three icons. It's a fourth icon that's highlighted. Okay. And then just show that, present of you. Yeah, just um, if you do that, then we can see better. Is this any better? No, it's still exactly the same. Uh, bear with me one moment. If not, go into slideshow at the top and start from, you know, uh, start the slideshow from the beginning. Uh, just give me one second. Apologies. Um, just give me one moment. If I go here, can is this better? If we can't see your screen, you've stopped sharing. Oh, okay. Mm. If you can't do it, don't worry. Just just continue. Um, so, so you can't see the screen at all? Not at the moment. You need to press... Uh, okay, now you've started screen sharing. So, yeah, if you can't get it onto full full screen... Um, okay, then okay if I show it like this? Just, yeah, leave it like that. Yeah. Okay, apologies. Uh, sorry, sorry, everyone. So, so we're located in Sloan Street, Knightsbridge, as mentioned. We're a seven, 17-storey hotel with 186 rooms and suites. Um, so this is a bit of the neighborhood, as you can see, you can see some of the skyline, you can see Battersea Power Station, and also you can see um, London Eyes with our city views as well. Um, so just a little bit about the hotel, five-star luxury hotel. Um, it says here 87 bedrooms and suites. So we do have seven different types of suites. Our top suite is our royal suite, which I'm going to show you a bit later. And then our level entry suite will be our garden suite. Um, we have historic Knightsbridge, Belgravia and Chelsea uh, views. We have also a private access garden, which is called the Cadogan Gardens, which is exclusively um, accessible for our guests in-house. Okay. Let me have a look. So I'm just going to show you the first suite. It's the Royal Suite. This is our signature suite. It's the most exclusive suite. Um, this room is about 160 square meters. Um, this room 
this suite, sorry, is a one bedroom uh, room with two living rooms, one main dining area, and it comes with three balconies. So this room, when we usually sell the Royal Suite here at the hotel, it opens up into another three rooms. So usually when someone takes a Royal Suite, we, the Royal Suite is located on the 10th floor. It, it, we can open up the whole suite and the room. So it's, uh, it'll be private for um, your client's stay. So this is very, um, this is booked a lot when it comes to government officials, diplomats, or private clients, any high net worth individual or um, royalty as well. We do also have um, our luxury suite. Our luxury suite is a one bedroom suite. We have about six types of luxury suites located on a higher floor. All of the views um, they have of Cadogan Gardens. And then all of the rooms also come with bathroom and a shower, uh, bathroom, sorry, a bathtub and a shower as well. Um, so this room also interconnects with balcony room. I'm not sure if I have a picture over here. So this is also one of our um, luxury suites here. Um, the next one will be our executive suite. Our executive suite um, is, doesn't have an interconnecting option. It has views of London skyline. So you can see the Shard, you can see London Eye, and they're all located on a high floor. This also comes with a separate living room, as well as a master bedroom and um, a guest bathroom. And then they've also got two entrances. So let's say you're coming, maybe you want to have a meeting in the room. You're most welcome to host the meeting in the living area. And then, for example, if you come with your missus or you have children, they can also exit or enter from a separate entrance where um, the main uh, master bedroom is. And then we have our junior suite. This is our popular type of suite um, here at the hotel. So we have our junior suite um, facing the Cadogan Gardens. And then we have our junior suite city view that's located on higher floors that are facing Sloan Street. So it's more of like an open type. This can sleep two adults, um, two children. So we do have a sofa bed that opens up as well. And then also with this room, you, it's also an interconnecting room. So we have an interconnecting option with a superior room. Most of all our suites do have a connecting option. So most of the suites will connect with um, a room. So we don't have any rooms to rooms that interconnect, but we do have our suites that interconnect with rooms. So we're very family orientated. We also have a lot of um, request, um, let's say if you have a request from a, a client, we do personalize amenities. So we do personalize pillowcases, slippers, as well as what the client likes, we'll prepare something um, within the room with the amenities. And then we also have personalized leather cards. So we will put your initials on the pillowcases, slippers, the leather card, um, so they can take home with them as well. Uh, moving on to the rooms, we do have our deluxe room here. So it's a very spacious room. We have these rooms on high floors as well as lower floors. And then we have here on the right our superior rooms. So some of our superior rooms are facing the Cadogan Gardens as well as um, the city, the city view. Um, the superior rooms here, we also have an option for twin beds. So not all of our rooms can cater for twin options. However, our superior room, we do have um, twin uh, options. As for people with accessibility, mobility, uh, we do have our deluxe room. So we have about two to three rooms that we cater um, for guests with accessibility. And then when it comes to our dining area, we have the chinoiserie. So the chinoiserie is located on the ground floor just as soon as you enter the lobby. So the chinoiserie is an all day dining. It serves international cuisine. So we have Middle Eastern, we have European, we have all sorts of um, uh, cuisines. It's more of a cozy lounge feel and this is open um, from the morning. So we do serve breakfast here um, and we do also serve breakfast in, in another restaurant. So it's really up to the guests if they would like to have breakfast in the chinoiserie or if they would like to have breakfast in um, another restaurant that we just opened recently. 
So here you can see more of the chinoiserie. We do offer afternoon tea. Afternoon tea at the moment we have just launched, uh, which we're very uh, excited to share, is um, with Highgrove Gardens. So it was the King Charles III um, garden. So we've done a concept around that. Um, so you can see here on the right hand corner, it's afternoon tea room. It's very private, very nice. Um, as the name chinoiserie, it's more of like a botanical garden. So it's a very lovely experience. Uh, moving on, we have the fitness and wellness. Uh, so we have the peak fitness, which is on, on the ninth floor. Uh, so this also caters to memberships as well as um, in-house guests. So we have all the latest um, techno gym equipment, as you can see here, we also have one studio that offers up to 70 classes. So we have an array of different classes to cater to our in-house guests as well as our members. We also have the Peak Members Lounge, which is a lovely view over the Cadogan Gardens. You can see better see it's, it's very lovely, very private. So this is exclusive only for our in-house guests as well as peak members. As you can see here on the top right hand corner is our indoor swimming pool. So we have one of the largest indoor swimming pools in central London. It also comes with a cabana feel. So it's very lovely, even though that you're in central London, you also feel like you're at the beach. Moving on to the next, we do have some meeting spaces located on the first floor. We have some elegant ballroom uh, seated up to 300 people for dinner and 700 for reception. We do also have some breakout rooms over here, which can be meeting spaces or, or events. Um, this also, um, you can also see the Cogodon Gardens as well. And then, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have any questions, but that's it from my side. Thank you so much. Super, thank you very much, Tanya. Yes, we do have a few questions, um, but we're going to go through them uh, one by one at the moment. Um, Tanya, I forgot to remind you um, that yes. at the end of the presentations, once we've finished the question and answers, yes. you need to think of the question that you've covered during your presentation. Okay, and sure. we ask the agents um, towards okay. the end. So. Just have a think. I've got a couple of ideas um, if, you, okay. if you struggle, but yes. Um, okay. And then we'll go, we'll go through that in a little while. So, okay. um, Kerry, first of all, you've got a couple of questions that have come in. Um, what is the maximum capacity for the pool suites? Um, it depends which pool suite it is. Um, if it's the Anthurium, which is just the second category up, they can accommodate three guests. Um, but all of the others are capped at two. So, um, yeah, maximum three in Anthurium. Super, thank you very much. Um, Kerry, um, when you was mentioning the sort of the privacy and the the elite um, people that want the privacy, are drones allowed in the in the complex? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I don't know is the answer to that one. We're quite close to the airport, which would make me think no. However, we have got aerial footage which has probably yeah. been filmed by a drone. So uh, I, I suspect if it's like other Caribbean islands, you probably need to get permission first and give a reason as to why you would be flying it over the resort. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Um, Kerry, do both restaurants have a vegetarian menu or a vegetarian option for the taster menu? Yes, they do. So both um, restaurants have um, vegetarian menus and the menu at dinner, when I mentioned about the five course taster menu, it alternates every couple of nights. Um, as I've probably said as well, whenever I've been at this resort, I've never heard them say no to anything. So if there's something that's not quite to your liking, they can generally make an alternative for it. You know, I've been to many other hotels where, you know, vegetarians don't have much choice, but that's not the case here. Super amazing. That's good to hear. Um, Lynn's asked as well, Kerry, are they able to cater for halal food? Mm, not as standard, no. Um, that's not something that we do as standard. However, if you have got a particular book in, I would recommend reaching out to the resort team because um, halal food is, can be purchased on Grenada. So um, it may well be that they could do some dishes specifically for clients. But as standard, no, but they can work for special requests. Super, thank you very much. Um, are the bikes mountain bikes or regular bikes or electric bikes? They're regular push bikes. Okay. Super. 
Um, it's very flat, yeah. like the, the terrain around the resort is very flat, so you don't need a mountain bike and um, yeah, we don't have e-bikes. Okay, super, thank you very much. Tanya, this one's for you. Are the Jamaira yes. luxury suites only suitable for double occupancy? So the luxury suite can actually accommodate two adults and two children. So we do have um, separate bedroom and also separate living room area, so we can open up the sofa bed. Super, thank you very much. You. Um, also for you, Tanya, can the afternoon tea be booked um, separately or is it only for in-house guests? Yes, so the afternoon tea can also be purchased separately. So if you do contact the hotel, they'll be more than happy to assist with the booking um, for afternoon tea. Super, thank you very much. Um, Kerry, if looking to book weddings, would all the packages be done with the hotel? Yes. Um, so generally what we'll do, um, I don't know if that's a tour operator or an agent that's asked the question, but um, if once a booking has been made, you would then go through to the weddings team directly who would take over the booking. So they would manage all of the, you know, the admin of, of the wedding. Yeah. Super. Thank so you. They will liaise directly with the wedding couple. If the agent wishes to be included in that and copied in, that's fine. But it's quite nice just to hand it over straight to resort, really. It's much easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Kerry, uh, till what age is the kids club and the, is the babysitting at a charge? The uh, kids club is from three to 12. So it's much more geared at primary children. But I do like the fact it starts at three because a lot of kids clubs in the Caribbean start from five. So it is three as long as the children are potty trained. Um, so three to 12. And yes, babysitting does come with a charge. It's an hourly rate. Okay, no, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. So we have finished with all of the questions. I'm just going to make sure in chat um, that we've not missed any because I know people were putting things into chat. So let me just go through now. Um, here we go. Colleen liked how close you can walk right into the ocean. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, talking about bars as well. Excellent. Uh, 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 uh got one somewhere agent rates um patricia's asked i'm not sure if it's aimed for spice island or if it's for tanya um if you can both tell us so kerry first of all do you do any agent rates we do um and if you are travel industry and you haven't been to the hotel in the last three years we offer three complimentary nights in summer so may to october however we are closed for a lot of the summer next year so if you did want to snap that up you'd have to try and do it now travel july august september um and for those that have traveled in the last three years or are looking to go at other dates and yes we do offer agent rates drop me an email i'll put my email address in the chat box um you can ask me for those. They're around six hundred dollars per night for the room. Super, thank you very much. And Tanya, the same question for you. Yes, so we do offer travel industry rates. So whoever would like to come and experience the, ho the hotel, um, I will also leave my contact details, and then you can message me, and then I'll be more than happy um, to share with the rate with you. Super amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Now we get to the part of the day that's my favorite where we test all of the agents. So just to summarize, everybody on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger with the correct answer, you get 10 points. Then what I do is tomorrow when I do the follow up, I put everybody in a spin to win and I will let you know who the winner, the winners are on that follow up. And also Kerry and Tanya will both be copied in if you've got any further questions for them or you need any help to close any sales and um, you need some advice or something then they will be very happy to help you um don't forget as well completely trade friendly hotels wanting to work with the trade which is lovely to hear and that's exactly what we want um so kerry seeing as you went first so as a reminder um just go to uh, your chat option and make sure that the drop down says everyone um oh, patricia just asked me a question which resort are you in now um I'm in nowhere, but this behind me is um, the Serenity at Coconut Bay. It's from the mm -hmm. webinar that we did last week. <laughs> so uh, sorry to uh, jump on that one. Um, mm -hmm. So Kerry, what is your question, please? Uh, mine is, um, I know it's boring when I talk about room types, but I do just want to do one about room types. And that is th those um, suites that are right on the beach. Does anyone remember what that category of suites was called? Oh, that's a good one. 
The answer is sea grape. Ah, you see, I wouldn't remember that one. So that's good. Mm -hmm. so, and lots of people were listening. First person is Carol. So you have your 10 points and it is, of course, the sea grape. So thank you. What, how, where was that name from? Um, it's, the, it's the trees. So the trees that they have on the beach on Spice are called sea grape sweets. Uh, sorry, they're called sea grapes. That's what they grow. Okay. They're like large grapes. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. Um, we've learned something else as well today. So thank you for that, Kerry. So, uh, mm -hmm. Carol and Tanya, um, what is your question, please? Um, so my question is, how many rooms and suites do we have here at the hotel? Oh, wow, everyone's very far. <laughs> Hang on. I think it's... Deb that's got it correct with 167 is that correct so it's 186 rooms and suites ah 186 what was it that was 106 oh it was the square meter of the room that's where I'm getting confused with <laughs> so 186 is Sharon and she was the first person as well Sharon so you've got 186 rooms in your hotel so that is super um okay so sharon and carol you both have your extra 10 points we will let you know tomorrow and i do the magic wheel who's won um i'd like to thank kerry and tanya for the time today and for coming and um explaining all about the key benefits of their beautiful hotels and um, they're certainly very luxury so thank you very much team and thank you to all of the agents that have joined us today um, it's great to see you all here. So thank you. And we have got a webinar tomorrow. If you're available, pop on it. If not, have a great weekend and we'll see you all next week. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Bye.